Hey guys, welcome back. Saturday morning update on the 58 Impala. Um, showing you some of the pieces that you uh, normally don't get to see because once the car is together, these are details that are just overlooked because you can't really see them too well inside the car. But uh, for you guys that are new to this video and haven't seen the previous video, I uh, recommend you go check, uh, check that one out and see what I'm working on here. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was the interior of, uh, of the 58. Now, I was going to get a uh, picture of the interior, or at least what I could find of the interior, printed like the uh, picture here in the background. But unfortunately, I failed to do that. Um, but I'll try to do that and show you on the uh, next video of the update. Um, so, to show you what I've done, here's the... Uh, the interior now the only picture I could find of the interior and that's not to say there's not other pictures out there but I couldn't find anything was a uh, driver's side door open view uh, basically of a little bit of the interior basically you're gonna you're kind of seeing this from the driver's side that's all you could really see so everything else I had to kind of guess and uh, eh. That's pretty cool to me, so I don't know if that's exactly accurate, but uh, that's the best I could do with it. So here's the original interior uh, as far as the door panels go and the uh, rear panel. And uh, as you can see, that's how they look now. If you look on the inside piece here, that's what I cut out. Everything you see open, that's what I cut out and removed from the original which uh, there's your uh, little section here. I uh, just took a exacto blade, cut everything out, cut the uh, armrest out separate, and uh, installed that back in once the uh, tuck and roll or the vertical pleats were done. Uh, the carpet, I just painted it uh, with a brush. Um, it's just a wood color. Um, it's uh, not really a gold. It, it blended really well. Uh, the actual uh, gold on the seats and on the dash um, and the steering wheel, that's actually uh, uh, just a spray paint gold. Uh, nothing real extravagant about that color. Uh, did the engine the same way. I have, I've yet to find a picture of the uh, engine, so I'm not really sure what was in the car, but I'm just using the original uh, from the, uh, the model kit. But uh, the seat, as you can see here, it uh, now has the uh, tuck and roll or pleats, whichever you want to call those. And uh, the uh, chassis. I've got the uh, chassis detailed. Uh, it's all painted up, ready to uh, actually put the uh, wheels and tires on. But I've yet to get the uh, rims. The mail around here is just really garbage. They, they've slowed things down because they've built a new facility. So, train's going by. Sorry about that. Uh, so, you're not getting your mail on time. They're, they're really, really, really behind. Uh, but a lot of people have asked on some of the model car forums on uh, Facebook, uh, where do I get the styrene plastic to do the uh, uh, pleats or the tuck and roll? And... Uh, I've explained this on a previous video. I just uh, I took a bed cover from the uh, 59 Impala AMT kit and I vacuum form it um, to make extra sheets and then I just cut them out into whatever size pieces I need and uh, glue them directly to the uh, raw plastic, uh, not in primer, uh, just when it's just a regular molded plastic, no primer, no paint whatsoever glue those in place and then just kind of sand the edges to kind of get them a little bit of a um, a fold down as if it was sewn on the edges and uh, yeah just glue them in place and of course this one was a lot easier to tape off so once I get everything uh, in place with the uh, tuck and roll I uh, taped it all off and uh, sprayed the gold so wanted to show you like I said this is a part of the car that you won't really ever get to see once the car is together and uh, I'm still waiting like I said I'm still waiting on the rims from Gary seeds or the hubcaps that is and uh, 
letting on this uh, primer cure out really well so uh, I don't have anything peel up when I pull the tape because like I said in the previous video this is not my best uh, um, skill level I guess you'd say when it comes to taping fine line taping like this uh, something always goes wrong so I'm trying to do uh, whatever I can to make sure this primers uh, stuck and then when I go to do the uh, gold paint, I'll do the same thing with that and then the uh, the green. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys this. Like I said, it's Saturday morning and I uh, wanted to give you an update on the uh, 58. You guys stay safe and uh, have a good weekend. Thanks for watching the channel. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Later.